Okay, so we are at White the White Swan and we walked in here with no expectations and it's actually turned out to be a really beautiful pub. Look how beautiful this is. It's sat by this window, got the rain, but rain look, drops on the window. Stained, stained glass, glass in the middle. It's just all very, very nice. Honestly, here. I think this is one of the nicest pubs I've ever been in. Like it's really stunning. it's not like dingy and it's not no. old carpets, like it's, it's all not gross, really nice. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> not that pubs are gross, no. it's just that obviously they see a lot of wear and tear. This yes. is like very nice. It's so, so we nice. walked in and there's a this is the restaurant side and then there's some more slightly more informal seating over there. And I was like, Can we sit in there? And she was like, Yeah, go go for it. So nice. So lovely. We've just got ourselves we've just ordered two lunchtime sandwiches. Lovely. And I'll show you guys the view from that way. They'll definitely use that as the thing. <laughs> we stand out like a sore thumb in here in our pink, don't we? Don't we? Ooh. <laughs> really nice. So lovely. We'll go around and we'll get some close-ups of everything. They've got like tapestries on the wall there behind some cases. Yeah. They've got an old book there. Could it be a first folio? Maybe. Chairs. Oh yeah. Very grand. I've gone for a prawn and crayfish sandwich. Leah's gone for a vegetarian halloumi thing. Or was it buffalo meat or something? Buff buffalo meat, fake halloumi. Criminal. I hope for it's a not green. buffalo sauce because you don't like spicy. Oh gosh, yeah. A bit spicy, but I can. You can handle. You can take that. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Lovely. If you like cats, there's the Shakes Paw Cat Cafe. I mean, we don't hate cats. I love all animals, but cats are not my favorite. I don't know if I'd go to a cafe knowing that the cats could just can't because it's not for me. Yeah, it's if not you love for you. cats, get yourself in there for a bit of cat therapy. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. So we've got some info, guys, that the Tudor house at the front is not actually Shakespeare's house. That was his granddaughter's house. Whereas anything from the plants backwards is older. Yeah. And this was Shakespeare's house. I think I see the strong box. So where we just walked through, there was a strong box there, and it was basically just that little box. Oh, yeah. Show it in B-roll, and that is actually a symbol of Shakespeare's wealth and status in the local area, strapped upon Avon. I think he was a big celeb round here. Mm. And Didn't they say in modern day he was a millionaire? Yeah, modern yeah. day, like back in his day, the equivalent of being like a millionaire. He was that because of all the success he had with his shows in London at the Globe. You know, it's no wonder that Anne Hathaway wanted to stay like up north and just be away from all that London yeah. plague and just dirtiness. She helped with the stuff up north, didn't she? She helped up here. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he was a local celeb. Nothing other than a local no. celeb and a, you know, really good, well respected. And now global yeah. celeb. Yeah. Global, which is this. This big globe here. <laughs> And it's just based on a map by Edward Wright in 1600. And I think the tour guide said that, yeah. or not tour guide, but the person giving some info said that this whole area was where there was a hall. So this was like part of the house. Slash, this might have even been the original globe. I don't, I'm making that up, but who knows? I don't think it's true, but. <laughs> <laughs> we like to think it is. Real or fake tree? Real. Fake. Oh, gotta be real. No, it's fake. Okay. It looks well real, but. Totally fake. Fake. Joel and Leah trying to figure out if the tree is fake. So this is known as Shakespeare, attended by painting and poetry. As you can see, he's attended to by, literally, a woman with paint brushes. Yeah. And a woman who's saying poetry with some sort of a musical instrument. Sensational. Um, a real display of wealth, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously from here, the very end of the gardens, you've got some great views. 
Mm. Imagine having a garden big enough to have monuments around. It's just... She's stabbed herself through the neck, that one. Really has, hasn't she? She's done it for the art. So unlike the other places, they've turned this into an exhibition rather than it looking like the way he had, the it. Way he had yeah. it. Yeah, there's lots of information. I'm just having a look at Shakespeare's family tree and feel free to pause this video here but what's really interesting is that none of Shakespeare's grandchildren actually had children so he's got no descendants and there's no direct descendants of William Shakespeare. This print is really nostalgic. This used to be like the Jack yeah, colours. pink and blue. I remember like basically begging my parents to drive me down to the Jack Girl shop in Guildford, which is like two and a half hours away from where we live. And I sound like such a brat. I mean, like, please, 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 can I get this hoodie and this scarf? I had this ugly scarf. It was so ugly, I never wore it. Yeah. But I just had it. I had the and pink and blue this. socks. Yeah. Alarming, isn't it? What yeah. we used to do. Now I don't care. No, you just but like just what so you like. It's funny that like, I was desperate for a brand. See if I can okay. find anything for my non existent holidays coming up. <laughs> okay in this changing room and it just feels i can't stop thinking about how nostalgic this is like the space you get the walls in the brand colors that they might be trying to phase out and um students get 10 percent off i'm sadly not a student anymore oh i do like that especially because it's getting to winter i just love a jumper i think these sorts of ones are very cool i think i used to have one like this like not from Jack Wills, but maybe I should get another one. The best thing about Jack Wills is they make lots of JW stuff, which is obviously my name, Joel Wood. Very cool. So this is trendy now, guys. Oversized, you know me, I love a tight t-shirt, but I'm actually starting to really enjoy oversized because I feel nicer, I feel more comfortable and like just a baggy tee, so. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get this. So I've got two colors of the same jumper. This, which is a slightly very subtle purpley gray or beige. So let's try the beige. This is a beige. It feels a bit bigger. They're both the same size, but hmm, not sure. Right, this one's on sale and it's very different to what I own currently. So I'm thinking maybe don't get any of the jumpers. Just get the t-shirt and this, I don't know. Successful shopping trip. Oh, so no. successful that Leah is wearing a hoodie <laughs> out of the shop. <laughs> we got so wet in the rain I know. that we just had to buy. I mean, I bought a jumper as well. Can put my wet jumper in my bag. I know that's a bit of a clash, but no, you look dead at least cozy. I'm dead cozy now. Wow, well, who would think? Who oh. would have thought in August we'd be getting our double jumpers on? Double jumper. Double jumper. Oh well. Oh. Wow, lovely. So we've come to the Shakespeare Distillery. Brilliant, you can personalise your own gin apparently. It's quite a good gift, isn't it? Yeah. Like if you find something for someone else and you go, Shakespeare's Distillery, yeah. personalised. Merry Christmas, Claire. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Claire. Claire. Love that. You'd never want to drink it though. No, you wouldn't. You want to save it. That's the thing. Like with all the gifts, I've been like, Moe, Moe, engagement, Moe, congratulations, Leonard. But you don't want to drink no, it, no. So shopping and distillery complete. We're now just, we're sort of just mooching around the shops, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to walk to the RSC as well and have a look. But in the meantime, I fancy like a protein snack, protein bar or something. So we're going to nip into Holland B. Holland B. Uh, just to see what they've got on offer. Absolutely. Any vitamins needed? At the moment, I mean, I could probably do with a B12 shot. Yes. In we're my, yeah. We've yeah. got a live stream tonight. Oh yeah, we need to set that up. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. It does not. Just having a little wonder by the barge. Yeah, it's really nice. They've got boats, they've got a barge that serves ice cream, a barge that serves beer. It's all local ice cream as well, which is really nice. We love a bit of local. We love local. local. Shop local. <laughs> we say after going to Jack Wills. <laughs> Shop local. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're in the RSC shop. Oh, we love a shop, especially a theatre shop. I think the last time I saw a play in here must have been about <gasps> 16. Oh my it's gosh. An avid drama school oh, enthusiast. Yeah. Living, breathing, sleeping, bleeding Shakespeare. And oh. I used to just love coming here. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. I've never been here in my life. You've been to the London one? No. No. Camden? No. You must have. I have not. Here you are in the RSC gift shop. All the world's a stage. <laughs> yeah. 
better a witty fool than a foolish one. Well, I'm both. So. <laughs> witty and foolish. Don't we love that? Have we no wine, wine here? here? <laughs> Close up. It was so funny earlier when we saw the. Um, oh, what have you seen? If a baby wore that. Fetch me my supper in. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were you saying? Basically, when we saw like this gift shop, and in this gift shop, they had basically just making up quotes that sounded like Shakespeare, but yeah. they weren't Shakespeare. They were not like, Shakespeare. I only drink wine twice when I'm thirsty. And I don't know what it was. It was really bad. But it, but it was obviously really, wasn't it was Shakespeare. It was really not Shakespeare, but it was really funny. <laughs> we were like, can't be. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's really cool. Recognise from school. Really? Second year. Recognise her? No. 100%. Really? I don't recognise her. That is so cool the way they've done all that. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, and they've got a bar in here. Oh, lovely. We've got a couple of drinks. We're going to come and sit by the river now. You can see canal boats on the river. There's lots of nice swans that way. Imagine if it was sunny, it'd be absolutely heaving here. Oh, it would be. Everyone would be here. Oh, yeah. One thing I've thought that we could do for this channel one day yeah. is hire a canal boat. Yeah, that'd be so the, cool. That's our Airbnb. That's our mode of transport. It's our Airbnb. Oh my it's gosh. Everything. We've never, I've never stayed on a canal boat. I don't think I have you either. Can. I've been on one but never stayed on one. How amazing. We'd have to learn to drive it. Yeah, I think that would run into a lot of errors, but I'm we not trying to be neggy. And then they could drive. Yeah. You guys drive the could, boat. Yeah, we could film. <laughs> Be like you, you two drive. Yeah, we'll just we'll film. We'll on and off. We'll film. <laughs> that was a we'll good take idea. Of each other. Yeah, you guys could be retired from taking pictures yeah. for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we stood outside the Garrick Inn, and this pub is super, super old. Like one of the oldest, and also guess what the history is. Um, Henry VIII was married there. No. Oh. Better. <laughs> what? It is said to have been the place where the plague began wow. in 1564 apparently the plague started here and um, yeah it might have been from the inn there wow and then it spread to london yeah wow and apparently the name of this place changed from the greyhound to the garrick in honor of a guy called david garrick amazing um, yeah the actor the, yeah he did a lot for the the town's tourist trade by his encouragement and enthusiasm about shakespeare wow. so the Garrick Inn. The Garrick Inn, everyone. They might have started here. <laughs> <laughs> might. Now oh, that is amazing. Yeah. Romeo and Gelato. How good is that? We love, if anyone loves to play on words, it's, it's you and me. Us. It's us. So, Romeo and Gelato did really tickle us. Yeah, we like now. that. Well yeah. done. ZZ. So that's a chain. That's a chain. Okay. That's no play on words there. No. A mere stone's throw away from the RSC. It's the Arden Hotel. It's the Arden <laughs> Hotel. Literally, it's just here. Yeah, lovely. And the Arden Hotel, straight across. So I bet they do a good like pre or post theatre dinner menu or something. Possibly, yeah, I would yeah. imagine so. Afternoon tea. Oh, lovely. It's got our name written all over it, although it has gone four o'clock, so we have oh, missed the afternoon tea slot. It. Great. Great. <laughs> so lovely that the weather has changed because we're just sat here in the gardens of the Arden Hotel and just soaking up a little bit of the sun in my many, many layers of stuff we just bought from the shop. Well, what a change of weather. What a change. I mean, it just makes you want to sort of find a dinner spot in town or or just outside of town. Yeah. Um, Maybe have a whispering yeah. angel. And yeah, have a whispering angel. All of these parasols say whispering angel and I've heard about it. I think it's the new popular drink. I think it might be a rosé or something. Oh, wow, a great name um, for a rosé. Yeah. And a great colour for of umbrella. Yeah, it? it's lovely, Lush. isn't it? Yeah, Against the blue nice. sky. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Just a little bit more of the Arden Hotel as we leave. Very nice. Off we go. A lovely drink in the garden. Don't think we've logged any of our drinks, but it was very nice. Oh, yeah, it was lovely. Okay, right. back out. Back out. I think we're going to perhaps put an end on our little vlog around Stratford. We really hope you've enjoyed this. Yeah. It's been a really, really nice day. It's been a lovely day. And the blue and sky has come out, which is so nice. Yeah, it's so, so nice. I mean, all of the shots would have looked better if we took them now, like off yeah. the streets, the town centre. It's just all so much more beautiful with the sun yeah. out. I'm like, oh, look at this telephone box in the sun. How much more beautiful is it? We really hope you've enjoyed it. We are now going to think about our next 
move, whether we're going to get dinner around here or if we're going to go a little bit further out somewhere. Yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please click subscribe. We post videos every, every week. Every week. Please do check out our other videos from the Strapped Upon Avon series and the rest of our Midlands vlogs. We really hope you enjoy them. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye. Bye.